makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious show my baby Sorry that it took a second, y'all. All right, so we're about to be checking out <clears throat> Gladys Knight, uh, The Empress of Soul. The title of this song is Love Overboard. <clears throat> I love Gladys' voice. I Everything about her. This was what we were about to hear. That didn't even occur to me when, when even when I put it in here. Love overboard. But definitely like the 80s feel like soon as it don't, don't. Like soon as it came Man, on. Man, she was, was doing like, her thing back then. This is a hit though. <clears throat> yeah. I could just see people going yeah. crazy just because of the sound. Even just the, the instrumentation part of this alone would just make like send you flying to the dance floor yeah this again this this was like <laughs> this had to be like an instant hit like especially on the radio for gladys night man like this song right here just takes me back to like so many memories i just i just remember us like riding around in the old cutlass and stuff yeah like and and this song being played while we like riding riding wherever we ride through through in, in oak cliff somewhere but like this was like one of those Consummate songs that all my aunts play, my uncles, like everybody knew this song. That's crazy. I, as many times I feel like you've heard this in a in a store and like shopping, driving in the car with your moms at the family, like whatever. Like I never knew that this was. Nice. And it never gets old. It never gets <laughs> old. Right. Timeless. <laughs>
this Glad is a not jam. in the pips. Come on now. Definitely a jam. <laughs> like, I can see, man. I definitely can see, like, how this could be as popular as it was. But it's crazy. Like, I feel like this is really my first time actually sitting down and listening <laughs> to the song. Because Love Overboard is the only thing that ever really stood out to me. Love Overboard. Like, I didn't even know what we were listening to until we got to that part. Mm hmm <laughs> and now I'm uh, like, and then it, re it. it rekindled that flame. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I was saying. I'm like, I've heard this song many times, probably just in passing, but I've never <laughs> listened one to who was singing it or the words to the actual song. But I feel like sometimes, like, because there was like, because there was so many great singers, and then I can't necessarily say that either. But sometimes, sometimes I just feel like Gladys Knight doesn't always get her just due even though I know that she's she's been giving her flowers because she's been awarded so many like different like type of uh like lifetime achievement awards. Yeah. But I'm just saying in the in the in the whole grand scheme of things of all the famous singers and groups that were back then, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like she don't get her just due. Maybe maybe that's just me. Because I'm not I, I you know, I don't I don't know everything that she's accomplished and all her achievements and how many times she's been recognized, but mm -hmm. Like Gladys Knight, like she's definitely like like obviously she the Empress of Soul, but she's like definitely like one of those gems, one of those diamonds from back in the day as far as yeah. like what? I was gonna say I don't know. Like I just I feel like we've heard so many great songs from Gladys in the in the pips, like every everything I don't think that. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I don't think that I, at I, all. I'm like not, I feel I, like people still I'm, again, respect like I, her as much as they did then. It's just that, like, obviously, our gener as I was explaining. I earlier, think it might be our generation that that I'm talking that I'm speaking to more than anything. I yeah, I feel like the generation she came from gave her her flowers. I just feel like the generation we came from, you know, because we started getting like Whitney and and other people that came after Gladys, mm -hmm. where I feel like she's kind of been overshadowed. Same thing like with Shaka Khan. I feel like our generation kind of missed out on. Gladys Knight, well, yeah. Shaka Khan, yeah, where they where, where we didn't really completely like dial into like what their music or what they've done. I, I so agree. so that's probably what that's probably what I'm saying. Like probably like our generation, yeah, not like the generation that Gladys came from because she gets all the love.